This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, so team, uh, yesterday we discussed how to create a file, how to create a file through JSCL using IEF <coughs> VR fourteen. We can create with a different approaches, uh, but one of them is IEF VR fourteen. IEF VR fourteen is the utility. Now today I'll explain uh, disposition parameter. Okay, disposition parameter. There are two types of parameters in JSCL. There are two types of there are two types of parameters. Two, two types of parameters in JSCL. So JSCL. We have something called positional parameters. Positional parameters. And we have something called keyword parameters. Okay, we will discuss uh, one by one now. So let me connect to the mainframe server. So log on, inkert b. can type ISPF okay so I am opening the JCL right this is the code which we have written yesterday okay and I guess you would have executed the code as well as right you would have executed the code so let me explain about disposition parameter so uh, disposition parameter tells the status of the file okay tells the status of the of the file so is it existing is existing or not okay, if not existing what you want to do okay what you want to do if it is existing if it is existing what you want to do what you want to do all of them we specify on this parameter disposition so we write the syntax is disposition okay status status normal abnormal okay so status normal abnormal so valid value valid values for the status is you can mention new or old or mod or share if it is a normal condition okay uh, we can give catalog 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 and catalog keep pass delete okay so there is abnormal abnormal also i guess pass may not be there not sure let me check it that also one of them will not be there okay keep or pass will not be there up in abnormal case so i'll tell you what is status so example one example examples are 
have given okay on dd name slash slash e1 that is a dd name dd dsn is equal to a dot b dot c its position share or old what does it mean so you are telling to the system a dot b dot c file is existing so what it means okay so you are telling to you are telling to system that a dot b dot c file is existing okay so that is the meaning next e2 ed dsn is equal to a dot b dot c1 disposition share what that means that okay so same okay so telling that telling that a dot b dot c1 file is existing that is the meaning of it next slash slash e3 examples okay this is the one example this is the one example so this is second example this is third example dd dsn is equal to, or i can write disposition uh, mod disposition uh, dsn is equal to, is equal p dot q dot r r what does it mean so indicating that indicating that disposition mod means mod means this way indicating that the file might exist or not okay that is the meaning of mod mod means it might exist the file might exist or not but here dsn disposition share are old it should exist okay a dot b dot c file should exist that is the meaning of it okay so next example four i have given like this dd d4 dd this dsn is equal to p dot q dot r1 disposition old assume that assume that p dot q dot r1 file is not existing file is not existing so what happens you may, you mentioned like this but this file is not there in the system then you will get jcl internal error you will get jcl error internal error stating that stating that file is not cataloged cataloged or existing not existing okay is it clear tip so far any queries now old or share at this moment both are same mod is different and we have okay we discussed only this one status okay i did not talk about uh, this one so the status parameter is going to tell to the system file is existing then what you should do file is not existing what you should do so the relevant details okay the status the relevant details will be uh, the status will tell you the file is existing or not that's all okay now so there are the flow of the disposition parameter team so the jcl might be successful okay means jcl would have 
might execute successfully or unsuccessful. Now, so what happens the when you give the by default, okay, let's go here, status. First, control will come to the status. Okay, so control will come to here. Once it will check the status and if the JCL is successful, if the JCL is successful, then it will go to here. So this is in case of, in case of, uh, successful. In case of successful, where it will go? To normal. So that time abnormal will not execute because so it will execute this one only. Now let's take another example. So DCL went okay. So here JCL is fine. JCL is JCL got executed successfully. Got executed. This is the meaning of it. Now, so there is some you know when you are executing the JCL, when you are executing the JCL, something went wrong it is abandoned then first it will come to status at the same time it will check this cell is successful or abandoned abnormal if it is abnormal then it will come to abnormal status okay so normal will not execute if the control comes to the normal it will not execute abnormal if the control will come if comes to abnormal it will not execute the normal so either normal or abnormal either only one of them is going to execute so this is in case of in case of event is it clear team Okay, so now let's see the discombinations. Okay, now we will take our example. We'll take this example. So we will go with a positive note. Okay, here we will go with a positive note. So assume I'll take this example as this. Okay, let's see this one. Assume that okay, JCL uh, code is is fine. Okay, no events. Then what happens? This position new. So when you say new, the file is not existing. So yes, as per the user disposition, it is existing or not. Assume that the file is not existing. Very good. And whether JCL is executed successfully or not executed. So automatically the file is going to create on temporary basis. Okay. The file is going to create on temporary basis without any further step. So here this highlighted content will create the file. Okay. Not about normal or abnormal. Okay. Forget about normal or abnormal. So when the if you say no new file is not existing if the really file is not existing on the system it will create it then the JCL got executed successful cataloged means the whatever it is created on temporary basis whatever it is created on temporary basis whatever whatever it is created so that is going to cataloged which means that so for that particular file okay that particular file details will be stored in the cataloged table cataloged file so catalog means it is going to store in the 
cataloged uh, database it is going to store in the cataloged file so about that particular file volume primary quantity second everything and we can retrieve the file without using the volume serial so that is the meaning of catalog so when you say here it will catalog it before coming to the catalog it would have created okay it would have created because new it is going to create but you are making catalog okay any queries okay right go ahead go ahead you ask me yeah sorry even though if it is abnormal terminal huh? it will create the data set and it will be uncatalogued it will be created okay it is not uncatalogued means see if the jcl is successful and if the status new it will be created but if it is normal it is going to catalog it if it is abnormal if it is abnormal whatever it is created on temporary basis it will be deleted okay. see what happens uh, let's say what happens you mentioned a new okay the file will be created but it is not a catalog something else okay here is something else then what what happens if you want to retrieve this file if you want to retrieve this file you want to read the data from this file you have to use volume because that is meaning right when you don't do catalog you have to mention the data set which you want to process the data and mention that particular file on which volume it is located so these two you should specify Any queries? Okay, very good. Now that is the meaning of it. So we have seen uh, how to create a file, right? How to create a file we have seen. Now I want to delete the file which I created. So I can do, I can write more than one step. So this is called job. This entire part is called step. What you call step why because this dd is part of this execute whenever you say execute that we can call as a step okay what we call that is called we call comment we can call as a step so because this is part of this execute hence this is one step okay step one now i want to delete this file what i created so i'll give an example i can write another step s2 that is a step to execute pcm is equal to ifbr14 ifbr14 very good then what you want to delete you want to delete so i give d2 ex uh, ab something any dd name right what we call dd name dd i want to delete a file for that i am using utility called ifbr14 ifbr14 utility dsn is equal to this is the file i want to could delete okay so what is the dispersion parameter first of all okay, you need to tell you need to delete delete means file should exist so i can mention a old if it is a normally executed what you want to do i want to delete it if something went abandoned something is abandoned so what do you want to do that scenario delete it okay so this is how we can delete an existing file so this is how we have to execute the file is it clear so we give dispersion share or old okay and share means the file is existing delete means if the jcl is executed successfully and if it is a normal execution 
then do delete of the file if the jcl is went with event then delete uh, no, delete it in a both cases we are trying to delete it so either successful or unsuccessful Okay, team, any queries? Okay, so now I don't want to execute step one because I already got executed. There is no point of for me to execute that. So what I can do, I can have a another parameter on the job, comma, continuation parameter. So I cannot write the full parameter on the same line. I'll go to the next line. Okay, continuation parameter between 4 to 14. So I will use restart is equal to. So which step you want to execute? This one. What is the corresponding step name? What you have given? S2. I will give ST2 or step 2 like this. So means I want to execute from this step. So I can give step 2. So now what happens then? So now this step, okay, it is going to execute from second step. So if there is a few more steps are there, those also will be executed. But at this moment, there is only one step. So this is going to execute, save, submit, should get max is zero, right. So where I have to see the output of this code, we can go to the spool or start 3.4 and check it. I am opening the new screen, V8, I have given V8, the file got deleted and you can, that is the reason you are not able to see here. Now, I want to check it in a spool about the message. Start yum file. Two question mark against the job. Type yes. So this is something step two. Okay, step two was executed condition code zero zero, and it is uncatalogued. Okay, means it's uncatalogued at the same time it got deleted. So both are happened. First is uncatalogued, then it got deleted. Okay. Any queries team? Okay, so this is all about disposition. So it's very important concept team. So please try to or try to learn this one. Next, okay, so we will try to press refresh. Now, I'll try to create a PDS, okay. So, write a JCL, okay, I'll write a requirement. Write a JCL to create PDS and PS files, okay. And step one should create the sequential file, should create the sequential file. And step two in the SCL should create PDS. So both step one and step two should be present in the same member.
okay this is the one thing so write a jsl to create you already discussed the creation of ps file now we are discussing pds and you are writing two steps okay so we already written two steps this is the two steps so in step one we are creating a ps file step two we are creating a pds though we return restart but the core functionality of these two steps are that only right now so create a one more member to write the jsl <coughs> so ps pds enter type reset save it as i said always you should start uh, the jcl with the job card second so type a calls slash slash identifier a name field what is the name field venkat b make it eight characters so that it will be you don't get enter job name characters warning okay so space the job job is the statement in any jcl code always your, your you know jcl code should start with the job statement it identifies the job and it controls the job as well as okay and collection of steps we can call as a job in that the first parameter is accounting information so accounting information is uh, billing purpose we use it so i am giving my contact number so as as is my choice i can give anything and venkat is the username uh, i am giving youtube channel name venkat since 2010 next to whom the notification should go whoever using this code and if the logged in logged in id so tso logged logged in id logged in id should take here if you give some xyz it will go to xyz if you give like this it will go to all of them now i will write a continuation so time is equal to 1 comma 2 so it should execute the entire gsl should execute within 1 minute 2 seconds that is at any cost it should execute so time is equal to 1 comma 2 okay so we have something something called region which i'll talk about later 0m and we have something called class i'll talk about them later class a <coughs> and okay so i want to keep class a as a last line so and i write a comment it is a job statement if you see that this is one statement though it has a two lines but we call as a statement so because this parameters will come under job only okay so identifier first field name field operation field and rest of them are parameters at the end we have written comments okay is it clear now okay so right we understood okay uh, the requirement and we created the job cut what else so they they asking to write a two steps so i'll write step 1 i insert step 1 r s1 r x1 anything i can write as my wish right step 1 then it should create a sequential file so record length and record format we did not given anything you can give so execute is the one we use to specify the program which you want to run okay it is a, it is the you know starting step for executing of your program so pcm is equal to iefbr14 iefbr14 is the utility we use to create the sequential file hard to delete the file hard uh, to create the visa file so that is the one then so you written a program but it should have some purpose right that i am writing dd1 dd so dsn is equal 
so we can change the positions of this parameter okay here i have written first dsn correct now i will i can write this one so disposition i want to create a file so hence the status should be new so it should do catalog if it is a successful if it is abandoned you can write catalog no problem because if you see in the abnormal you can give uncatalog catalog no problem means if you give like this if the jcl is successful create it if the jcl is abandoned you create it irrespective of normal or abnormal you are doing it okay so comma dsn is equal to okay i will give venkat b dot b8 dot jcl dot ps1 this file anyhow we deleted i'll create now comma so we cannot write I mean if i write more than one parameter then it will be challenging so i'll give dsn as a code okay so dsn i have given so space is a parameter to allocate the primary and secondary quantity so are we creating a ps file or pds file as per the requirement go here uh, step one is a sequential file flat file so trk track the primary quantity one secondary quantity one okay close bracket so this is all about it next pc data control block so i can give lrecl logical record length is 100 block size is 100 multiple of uh, record length i am giving this time two in each block two records will be there 200 divided by 100 two next record format is pixel block dsorz if you don't give dsorz it will take default ps this time i am giving <laughs> okay so comma we are adding space is equal to, no 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 sorry uh, volume this parameter volume serial zero one okay so i don't submit i, I will submit both of them I, i'll finish this second step then i'll submit it i can do like that so step two execute this is the identifier name field okay so then execute operation field then parameter pcm is the parameter ieFBR 14 so i am giving dd2 i can give a dd1 no problem so because that is belongs to this particular program right so this one is belongs to this program this one is belongs to this program this step hence we can give it so i'll say here comments slash slash star step two is creating pds what is this one step one is creating yes right You cannot give blank lines don't give any blank lines like this okay blank lines are allowed in between not allowed don't give any blank lines for readability or for an alignment Okay, team, any queries so far? Are you good? Okay, next DD1 DD uh, DSN is equal to Venkat B dot B8 dot JCL dot PDS1. Okay, I am creating a PDS. So now I will write this position at the end. I don't write as a first or second because I can change their positions. Space is equal to pack 1, 1, 2. So now if you notice the example, here I kept only 2. 
but here I kept three. So the last parameter indicates the directory block. So the syntax for the space primary quantity pq primary quantity secondary quantity and directory block. So this is the one directory block. So when you want to create a PDS, this will be coming for this is for PDS. If it is a PS file, if it is a PS file, this we will give like this. Okay. Next. Okay, right. So I have given the space parameter and giving a continuation. So space given D, I am giving this time volume. Okay, serial USR001. If you don't give the volume parameter, it will take the default value. Okay, then uh, DSN DCP. Okay, I'll give uh, this disposition now. New. So uh, new catalog. Is it? Come on. BCB. BCB equal LRECL 80. Block size 800. Record format is fixed block. And DSORZ, we should give PVO. I will give two slashes. That is indicates that end of the JCL. If I write anything here, it is in, it will not consider. So, because you are given a two slashes, you kept everything is a blank. Correct? So, everything you kept a blank. So, here you also did it same. But here there is a continuation parameter. Correct? But here, after two slashes, nothing is there. Hence, this is end of the JCL. So now 13th is the end of the JCL. That is all about two slashes functionality. Then whenever you are creating a partitioned data set, whenever you are creating a partitioned data set, we should give PO. Okay. So but if you are creating a PS, no need to give. It's optional, but you can give it. But PDS, you should give it. Okay. You cannot create a member using IFBR 14. You can create only data set save any queries before I proceed further Okay. Now we are done with this also. We are good to submit. So I'm giving gap so that you guys can observe. That is the intention here where I'm not speaking for 30 seconds, one minute. Okay. I got a JCL error. Now it's a big challenge, right? Whether line number one or two, which statement? This is one statement. This is a second statement. 
This is the third statement. This is the fourth statement. Fourth, this is the one. Fifth. So total five statements are there because job is a one, execute one, DD one. Again, one more execute, one more DD. So five statements. So now go to the spool 3 F9, F3, and F3. Give question mark against the job. Type yes against the DD name. Undefined keyword. So what is the line number? Statement 3. Press F3. You can open job entry system JCL. This is where we can see the code which is submitted. Undefined keyword. So now you need to observe. So DD1, disposition new, catalog, catalog. It is okay. So disposition to space track is okay. DCB. So can you see? Have again DCB two equal to two two equals. I have equal symbol twice. So I will one F9. I did the some changes. You remove. So now what happens, team? We got an error on this statement. Correct JCL error. Rest of the JCL statements will not execute. Okay. So one is fine. Two is fine. There is something wrong in the third. Do you think fourth and fifth statement is or rest of the rest of the statements will execute? No. If any JCL error occurs, it will stop the whole execution. It will not continue further. So I did the changes. I'll submit it. We got max is zero. F9. ST. Uh, okay. I have to see two F4, two four, two F9, refresh. You can see this now we created a PS file. We created partition data set. Right? So 3F9 ST and give question mark against the job. See the description. Okay. Step one. This is the job ID, job name. Step one got executed. One condition code zero zero. It is a cataloged and uh, there is a space allocation and everything is there. Then there is a second, I mean, same job name, but step two was executed. The condition code is zero. Condition code zero means it is executed successfully. Okay, this is all about the files creation. One F9 to go to this code. Any queries? I write the PF show off. I want to hide the JCL. Sorry, not JCL, uh, job code, this one, function keys. So answer is this one. Okay, team, any queries? Yes, okay. Hello? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm here, I'm hearing you. Yeah, what will be the dis uh, default disposition? Yeah, so very good question. Uh, default disposition is disposition new delete delete. This is the default one. Okay, yeah. Okay, now we will discuss today types of parameters, then we will close for today. <clears throat> okay, it is a very small topic, it's not a topic, whatever uh, we are discussing that only. So, there are two types of parameters theme one is positional parameter and keyword parameter. Example for the keyword parameter if any parameter contains contains equal symbol then we call as keyword parameters except so pzim also contains the equal symbol but we don't call as a keyword and proc equal also so this is the meaning if you see this is not a keyword because there is no equal symbol it is a positional Okay, that is accounting information. So, example accounting information parameter. 
<coughs> so then next we have something called programmer name right or author name so we call it as a programmer name is a parameter notify as a equal symbol so this is a keyword parameter and time is a keyword parameter because it equal it has a equal symbol then region is a equal symbol is there so we call as a uh, keyword parameter class again it is a it has a key equal symbol it's a keyword next pgm is it contains the equal but it is a positional parameter it's a positional parameter then all this are all disposition all are keyword only so this also keyword next this also now then what is something special all about this two correct positional parameter should exist in that position only okay position parameter positional positional parameters should exist in their position only example so its position is new catalog delete is a keyword no doubt but keyword parameter but it has sub as a sub positional parameter sub parameters we call them positional sub positional parameters what we call sub positional parameters so this is a one now what is this all about can i write new at the instead of catalog so like this example so disposition catalog new delete it is invalid because new should be present at first position simple so it cannot change the order right so next disposition this is the one example so we have something called space equal space equal tag one comma one this is a valid no doubt in that but if i write space is equal to one comma one comma one tag is invalid because the first parameter on the space space is a keyword it has a subpositional because there is no symbol right so okay it is a invalid now if you see this one so this as okay dcb dcb is a keyword parameter keyword parameter it has and it has it has sub parameters we call them sub keyword parameters so what does mean guys so i can you see that this it is a sub it has a key equal this also it has a equal it has a equal it has a equal correct so now i can reorder them as my as we like no problem so i can move this one here no problem this is a valid okay i'll copy it so this is also valid Oh, so i can reorder them so since these parameters are you know if you observe here i order of the these parameters order of these parameters got changed so here is a disposition i kept disposition here at the end or in before that because those are all keyword but when it comes to the positional so uh, it cannot change it what does mean here is accounting information is a uh, positional i cannot write this one somewhere else after the after notify or anywhere okay on job cut the first one should exist if you are writing accounting information if you are not writing you ignore it just to keep it like this no problem give a comma 
If you don't want to write the programmer name, again programmer name is a positional. If you don't want to write, just give a comma like this. Okay. So you can ignore those parameter position parameters by putting the comma, but you cannot write accounting information like this here. So it is invalid. So I'll write Venkat. So here valid why as Venkat is programmer name. Programmer name should exist before keyword parameter. Simple. Okay. So I hope you are clear the difference between positional and keyword. So why the PCM is a positional team? After execute, you can write only PCM or PROC. You cannot write anything else apart from that. So their positions are fixed. Okay. So after execute, the first parameter on execute should be PCM or PROC, either one of them. So if you write anything else, you call them as a invalid. Okay, any queries? Uh, hello? Yeah. Hello? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. What will happen if you change the position parameters like uh, the accounting information next to the name? <laughs> you will get the JSCL error. Okay. Okay. Yeah, any queries, team? Yeah, so that's all for today, team. We will meet on Monday, okay? And we will discuss another utility called IAB, Gen IAB General Utility.